This afternoon we are heading up to a lake walk and this year of 2017 these vlogs are focused on lifestyle so in this vlog we're going to be looking at our New Year's resolutions and how about a third of the way or two-thirds of the way through the month some of our resolutions are uh, not doing too well so when we get up to the lake We'll stop for a minute and uh, have a chat. The hike that we're going to do is at the top of that mountain there. There's actually a lake at the top that we're going to climb up to. And I've decided to stop here to just show you, give you an idea of where we are. This is overlooking Lake Topo. This is the largest lake in the North Island of New Zealand, one of the largest lakes in the Australasia. And it is almost the size of Singapore. It's the crater of a, of a super volcano. It was one of the largest volcanoes to erupt. The last eruption was 1,800 years ago, and the first eruption was 28,000 years ago. Since its first eruption, there's been about 28 uh, other eruptions. We can only see part of the lake here, and it's absolutely massive. This is as far as we can get by car, so now we'll head across the road to start the track. We are now in the Tongariro National Park, which is a World Heritage Site. So here we're going to head up the Rotapanumu Walk, and it says it's two hours, but I don't think it's that long. And here we go into the New Zealand bush. I love the New Zealand bush. It feels like you're almost in a fairy tale. We've made it to the top, so now we're going to be heading around this lake here. So we're here and we're going to be walking around the lake. Now they say it takes 90 minutes. I don't think it's going to take that long. And there's lots of birds here. This is also a crater of a volcano. I think we're going to find the water is a really beautiful, probably bluey greeny color going on the types of chemicals you find in these volcanic lakes. These walks that are created in these uh, national parks are maintained by the Department of Con Conservation. And here they've done the orchestra of native birds. One thing about New Zealand is it doesn't have a lot of wildlife, like there's no bears or any predatory animals. And there's no snakes either. I just found out a cousin that had come in on the a cruise ship was talking to some passengers. I didn't know this. And she said that you can bring animals as pets into New Zealand, but the one thing you can't bring is snakes. And in New Zealand, there's no snakes. So we have a lot of birds and it, they flourish because there is no predatory type animals really for them. Some of my favorites here, you can see, is the New Zealand falcon and the kaka. Now this bellbird has a beautiful, beautiful sound and you often hear him in the mornings and in the evenings and if I can hear him I've heard him a couple times I'll turn on the sound and let you have a listen and this is a favorite of mine is the fantail as well and we see quite a few of these the yellow crowned kakariki and the mori pork is like the New Zealand owl the tui is very well known for its little white underneath the his chin and they love flax bushes. I have some flax at home and they like to hang around those. And there's the New Zealand pigeon. We also have quite a few ducks and we might see some of these ducks as well uh, along the, or in the lake, or along the lake.
can see a mama duck is here on the log. She's got her four little ducklings. I decided that I would dedicate these vlogs in 2017 to lifestyle because I believe that everybody should have a lifestyle that they desire and dream of and deserve. Now we all have to take into consideration the situations that we have in our life and the challenges that we have, but we can still work to have good lifestyle. So. This year I'm going to share some of the tips that I use in having a good lifestyle. As I said at the beginning, we're going to uh, look at our resolutions that we made at the beginning of the year and the resolutions I made and some of them are not doing so well. I've been looking at some research published by uh, Duke University. I was talking to a good friend of mine and also looking at some other blog articles and they talk about the effectiveness of developing very small habits, just focusing on one and when you've got that habit just going on to the next habit. Don't worry about like, like having all these major resolutions, just developing habits. So last week my habit is very simple, it is to drink a full glass of water when I wake up before I make sure that I do that before I do anything else. Now, in our world today, uh, I find, especially that I've been traveling, I don't have my good habits of where I leave all my devices downstairs. I have my phone next to me because it's my alarm clock. And so when I wake up, I tend to grab the phone or I turn the alarm off and then I've got the phone in my hand. So I just check it and Oh, then I'm answering an email and commenting on a post and liking this and and before I know it I've actually done too much and my day is too complicated. So building that habit of just taking specific 10 minutes of quiet time and I listen to some soothing music, it's also time to think about being grateful and to start that day slowly. So I look forward to hearing what some of you guys do uh, as as morning rituals to get your day started and and how successful you are as well so you can comment on the Facebook or on the uh, YouTube I always like to hear from everyone so it's time to head around to the other side of the lake and uh, find out if there's anything interesting along the way this is the national emblem of New Zealand the silver fern this is a juvenile one a smaller one now the silver fern is known because of its silver stalk. I don't know if it's too easy to see that, but these stalks actually are very silver looking. And in the adult ferns, the fern part, the underneath, on the underneath of the fern, it's silver. Now this is a juvenile plant, so it is not uh, silver underneath. It's only silver on the stalk. The Maori used to use these um, uh, silver ferns because when you see the silver on the other side of, of the adult ones they're very shiny and they would lay them in the track so that they could be could find their way it, at nighttime sort of like a fluorescent light to show somebody the way there's such interesting trees here like this one it looks like i'm in a fairy tale it's got its long needle-like tentacles dripping down. Imagine if it snowed here, those would be full of ice. And this part of the forest, these trees, they just look like they've got arms. And they're almost like people. They're going to start walking one day. I think I remember some fairy tales that my grandmother used to tell me about that. Here's another track. It leads down to the lake. And look at that. So peaceful. So I just have a little bit more to get back to the end of the lake that I started from and then down the hill and back home. 
So thanks for joining me on this beautiful walk here in New Zealand. If you're ever in the North Island, highly recommend. This lake walk just above Turingi, near Lake Topo, in the Tongarera National Park. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the vlog and share uh, a 2017 Focus on Lifestyle. Look forward to hearing about uh, the things that you do for your morning routines. I'm going to work on that big large glass of water before I do anything in the morning. Take some time out for some 10 minutes of, of um, focusing on gratitude and just being quiet before I start the day. Remember, as we get those habits, even the small ones integrated into our life, we can then build on other habits and other habits. And we know that looking at some of the most successful people in the world, they are the people that develop good rhythm of habits, rituals in their life. So look forward to hearing about yours on the vlog channel or the Facebook. Subscribe to the vlog. And we will see you next week. Have a great week.